All right, this is a very exciting day. NFL player Justin Bethel is hosting a football camp tournament at Blythewood High School. He is a Blythewood High School graduate. He went on to play at Presbyterian, and now you can watch him at the Dolphins. He is from Sumter, and his football camp supports his foundation, which is beating all odds. It encourages people and businesses to come back, be a positive influence in your community, and do more to give back. And he joins us now to talk about tomorrow's big event which includes a seven on seven high school football tournament which as I understand it has become a huge deal but this is video from earlier today you said you flew in you came hot off the jet from uh, the Dolphins yeah. from down in Florida and flew in just for this yeah um, I, I started doing the the kids part of it Last year, I missed it because I was in OTAs. We didn't finish until that Friday, so unfortunately, I'm sorry, I'm not cool enough. What's an OTA? Oh, organized training activity. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. All, All right. So this year, did you decided to include the young kids? And and what, how many kids did y'all have out today? Um, I think we had around uh, 40 or 50, maybe. I wow. think we had a lot of people registered. Everybody didn't get to show up, um, but the the guys that came, I think they had a good time. It was. It was really fun. I mean, this is a lot for you, like to get on a plane, to come back here, to organize two days worth of activities, especially there's a seven on seven. You said people are coming from all over the state yeah. for tomorrow's big tournament. Um, tell us first what we can expect tomorrow. Um, a good time. Uh, if, it's, if, it if the turnout is how it was last year, you know, we had food trucks, uh, some vendors out there, some DJs playing some good music. Um, you know, and then you get to see some some guys around the state getting to compete against each other, um, and you're just getting to look at each other. But I enjoyed it. I'll be walking around, shaking hands, kissing babies, all the good stuff. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and this all goes for we're looking at it right now, beating all odds. Tell yes. me what that means to you. Um, it's kind of it kind of just reflects my story of how I got to the league. Um, I definitely didn't think I was one of the better players when we, when, when I was at Blythewood. I wasn't the guy that I, everybody would have said, hey, he's going to be the one to go to the league. Um, I just worked hard. Um, I got a scholarship. I went to Presbyterian College. And when I was there, that was when I first kind of, you know, felt that I had a chance to get to the league. Um, and I almost went to school to go cook. So, you know, it could have it turned out. It turned out. Yeah, it could have turned, oh yeah, turned out totally different for me. But. Uh, you know, I guess the Lord had different plans for me, and um, 12 years later, I'm still out here running around, you know, playing football. I mean, honestly, that's crazy that you, and I said this to you, like, you have had a very long professional yeah. career yes, as have. an athlete. How on earth have you maintained that and been able to stay competitive in the NFL for so long? Um, definitely, first I'm going to say it's probably God just, you know, keeping me healthy, not having any crazy injuries that I couldn't re recover from. Um, I think it's a, my mindset, um, staying humble, you know, being somebody that is coachable, uh, people like to be around, um, and uh, things of that nature. And then just working, you know, it's a lot of hard work. You know, every year they're bringing younger and younger, yes. and younger and younger guys in, and I gotta, <laughs> I gotta show that I can keep, you know, keep up with those guys. All right, we'll talk about tomorrow again real quick. Everybody is invited out to this tournament. Yeah. It's a 7v7. There's going to be teams from all over the state competing. It's going to be a fantastic time at Blythewood High School. But what does this mean to you, Justin, to be able to come back and give back to your hometown like this? Um, I think giving has always been part of my nature. Um, even when I was a little kid, I've always enjoyed holidays when I can get a chance to give back to my family, friends, or anything like that. Uh, and I think I've always wanted to since I've been put in a position to do what I do and make the money I've made, um, being able to give back to the people who gave to me and got me to where I am now, um, I think it's only right for me to do so. Well, we sure appreciate it. It's a blessing to have yeah. you be from the Midlands yeah, and yeah. come back. Yeah. He's going to be taking selfies, y'all, tomorrow. <laughs> you heard him say it. He's kissing hands and shaking babies. So if you take the entire family out, this is something great to do. Again, going on tomorrow at Blythewood High School. Thank you so much yeah. for stopping by to see us. Thank you. All right, stay with us. More friends after the break.